Okay, thanks for sticking with us. Now let's play through X4 as Zero. Well, actually, good to see him being useful. I'm already shocked. Motivation in life. Now go. Destroy him. That's an order. But wait. Uh, 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 and then can say emergency all maverick hunters on call should assemble immediately and the same dream again all maverick hunters on call should assemble immediately <laughs> that's right Zero imagine say imagine say wow what the hell did i just watch you watched Is there a robot blood in that i i don't know i think so so Basically, this is the very first time it's ever hinted at, although it's pretty much just saying in your face, hey, guess what? Zero was the ultimate creation of Dr. Wily. Do I? You don't recognize this hairstyle? <laughs> also, I'm demonstrating that, uh, that one two one two slash thing I was talking about before. Sorry, spasms. Yeah. Zero is actually really awesome in this game. It's like, normal Mega Man physics, you don't have to worry about as much. It's just like, oh, I gotta charge my laser and stand back. It's like, no, you go up there and just, like, thrash people until they're dead. Except for this guy, because he's being a jerk. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> yeah, when he jumps. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Zero's voice actor in this game is horrible, but it's so cheesy, I love it. Yeah! I think most of the voice actors in this game are kind of cheesy. I don't know, I think Sigma's is pretty good. And now, my Maverick Hunters, what will you do? <laughs> you are dismissed. Uh, what?! I think this game... <laughs> I think this game, like, deserves to have a little bit of cheese, because... It's Mega Man. I mean, yes. it's easy villains. Well, like, the ex. Kill Penguin. Fire <laughs> Spot. <laughs> Credibility, you're gone. I was about to say something to the effect of, well, this is supposed to be like a darker story than Mega Man, which it is, but Wire Sponge. Like, how do you how do you spell how do you pronounce Bitch Boss? Oh, it's pronounced Wire Sponge. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wire sponge just got burned. Can't soak that up, can you, Wire Sponge? And Zero suspected Dragoon actually, you know, did this instead of X being like, WHAT HAPPENED?! Hey, I'm pretty. Wow, how do I use it? I think I do it by combing my hair and looking at computer rooms. Yeah, I probably won't be making as many jokes about Zero from now on because he actually becomes relevant. And there isn't that computer room, he must be blown up. <laughs> Unless he was doing so, he found a brain. So anyway, for it's useful. <laughs> I don't have to explode. <laughs> <laughs> so first impressions of Zero gameplay? Yeah, I agree with you. Actually, Zero is looking kind of useful and cool, and not like the previous Zero we've seen. Well, like, Zero in X3 is actually quite powerful, it's just that you never really get a chance to use him. Like, he has a double fully, like, two fully charged shots, and then a saber attack, which owns everything. But, you know, he, he can't pick up items, he can only fight two mid-bosses, one of which kills him in one hit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Iris, what are you doing here? Are you okay? No, I'm lying on the ground because it's comfortable. We'll find out shortly. A huge maverick appeared and... 
Stay here, I was. I'll handle it. I got this, yo. I totally got this. Hand me another beer. <laughs> Is this really one of Rebel Forces? I don't have a moment to spare. That's why I'm standing here having an aside out loud. Anyway, this is the, in terms of levels, this is the exact same game as X's playthrough, but I think it's different enough that it warrants its own separate playthrough. And if, for those who are wondering, yes, I did try to combine them together, but it just didn't work, considering, like, um, <laughs> whenever you play as X or Zero, they, the game pretends the other character doesn't exist. Especially if you're Zero. Who's X? I'm pretty sure we've never seen this boss before. <laughs> Colonel. Well, at least the storylines are different, I guess, so... Yeah. It won't be boring to watch. Colonel, what are you doing here? I've come to save my sister, Iris. Bum, bum, bum! Bum. She's fine. I just rescued her. And I rescued her, I mean, talked to her while she was lying on the ground. <laughs> then had an aside. <laughs> Way to go, Zero. Way to go. You might be useful in a fight, but to other people, you're a douche. They probably, like... <laughs> they never really explain where these two meet. They probably, like, talk to the internet. It's just like, Hey, I'm trying to find a hair combing website. Well, what do you know? I'm trying to find a chin maintenance website. Would you like to be pals? <laughs> <laughs> Also, Colonel's a lot less douchey in this situation compared to when he was talking to X. <laughs> oh, I thought he was saying pretty much the same thing. Well, he, I wasn't reading that. Well, he was, but it's not like... He wasn't like, what? I won't just... The same. Then they'll think you're a maverick if you try and kill people. Well, this... But we're not trying to kill people. We're just trying to live peace. You're a maverick! <laughs> Shut up. Well, in this situation, it's like, no, I won't do that even for you, Zero. Even if we are pals. Like, here and Zero are pals. Well, yeah, like, they were saying, like, oh, Cr Colonel's like, oh, long time no see. You you gotta read the text. <laughs> yeah. I was like, after assuming it was just the same stuff. Brave soldiers of Repliforce, we have all been wrongfully judged as mavericks by the humans. We cannot suffer this indignity and live in disgrace. We will build our own nation of Reploids, but... Remember, this is neither about insurrection nor rebellion against our human creators. This is about our liberty and security. We must battle for our own individual rights and our own survival. Together we will build our nation, a sanctuary for all reploids, our own utopia. Let us forge onward towards a new golden era for the Repliforce. Yeah! I too share the general sentiment. Take heed, we have no other choice. Let us fight valiantly, with courage and pride. Without fear, for we are the Repliforce. The most powerful army in history! Yeah! <laughs> the General has finally taken action. And now, my Maverick Hunters, what will you do? I'll be watching closely from here on out. <laughs> Iris, what are you doing here? Shouldn't Double be here instead? <laughs> That's a hell of a lot better than Double, I can tell you. Yeah. Although, come think of it, my, my brother, Colonel. It's like, um, brother. Robots. What? <laughs> I can smell the drama already. Don't fight my brother! Don't fight my brother! I must go now! Speaking of that, why isn't she with her brother and suddenly appears here? Because like, she I'm likes- I'm gonna go with Zero instead of my brother. Because she likes you! Yeah. I guess. I mean, that is the truth, but... How did that even work? 
Maybe. Uh, here's the question everybody else in the audience was just asking. <laughs> <laughs> Iris, no, I don't want to raise toasters with you. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's where they got the movie My Little Toaster from. <laughs> Alright, the little. Jesus, I totally fucked that off. <laughs> wow. Yes! <laughs> my Little Toaster. That should totally be a TV show. No. No, that's where they got the Brave Little Toaster from. My Little Toaster? I can just imagine little pink toasters with tattoos and whatever constitutes as a toaster's ass. <laughs> anyway, apparently Zero knows the Reckless Force, because, like. Like, oh, Spider, you're part of the Rebel Force? Yes. Can't you see my, b yeah, my beret? Buddy, I'm gonna kill you. Hope you don't mind. Then I'm gonna take your weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah! See, I was much more of an N64 kid growing up, but as far as, like, I don't know, I didn't really care for a lot of the 3D attempts PlayStation games made. But as far as 2D games, I think they have some of the best. That and the Saturn, but same thing. Well, never having played any Mega Man games myself, I really can't say much. <laughs> no, I'm talking about in general. Like, Resident Evil, I was like, eh, you know? Even though I never really played uh, it. I see. So basically, 2D games in general, then. On the PlayStation, I didn't think they worked that well. I, I thought, like, the best thing they did was probably Final Fantasy VIII. But, to be fair, the only games I really had for the PlayStation at that time were, uh, Let's see, Mega Man X4, 5, and 6, Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9. Oh, and Mega Man Legends 1 and 2. Uh, such a diversity. That's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. End of the... Oh, crap, we're at time. Later. <laughs>